We're at the city circuit and we're ready to go for the first of eight. Gates are back, they're off and away in racing. Bingo Hero came away well with them tonight. Kwai Chung Brothers goes back towards the tail and Benito with Megatron. Triumphant Light being stoked up in the early push to sit handy third with Bingo Hero over on the outside. Gobi Storm holds the rail. Wonderful Tiger gets around the sylph. And then came Keep Winning Investor Boom. Kwai Chung Brothers and back at the tail as Let's Go Free over on the outside as they now spin past the 1,200 metres and the first section 27.74, so a tick inside standard. And Benito leads the way, three quarters on Bingo Hero second. Megatron a length away, third scraping paint. At the 1,000 metres, Triumphant Light, one back and one out. Gobi Storm on the inside, shadowed by Wonderful Tiger with the mauve headgear. Then came the Sylph, two lengths away, as Keep Winning Investor Boom. Kwai Chung Brothers and Let's Go Free are the two tail end Charlies as they run towards the 650 metres. Benito in front, getting his own way, leading here half the length. Creeping closer is Bingo Hero. Megatron down on the inside. There hasn't been too much change to the order. Triumphant Light then came. Wonderful Tiger. He's three deep from Gobi Storm. The Sylph being niggled at with 400 metres left to go. Then came Keep Winning Investor. Boom. Let's go free. And Kwai Chung Brothers. They're in the lane. 275 left to go. Benito trying to skip away here. Has a good margin. Two links. Bingo Hero's got no response. Then came Gobi Storm out of the ruck. Keep Winning down on the outside, Megatron still there, Benito still in front, margin a length and a half on Keep Winning, charging out wider, and Benito has won from photos, Keep Winning or Gobi Storm, it'll go either way for second placing. Over on the inside, Megatron may be fourth in front of the Sylph, Triumphant Light, Bingo Hero, Investor Boom, Wonderful Tiger, Kwai Chung Brothers, and back at the tail was Let's Go Free, Jinjin King was a scratching before the off. Benito wins the first. Who does second prize go to? Yeah, that's very tight. Haven't quite got to the frame there on the line, but it's tight between Gobi Storm and Keep Winning, so that could go either way. And fourth will go to Megatron from the Sylph Triumphant Light Bingo Hero behind those runners. But at the first, the Class 5 goes to Benito. Kim May handicap, 1,000 metre dash. Now wide, they're racing, and away they go. General Line was first to break stride here over Look Eris. Gunner powering forward out deeper on the track. Irish Fager on the inside. Lucky Thought deeper. Ever Brave getting through. Gentle Breeze caught wide around Captain Boss Star Superior. Three links to My Dear Fortune Patrol and Yi Chong Lucky is four links at the tail as they head towards the 600 metres. Look Eris in front for Marrera leading a half length over Gunner running second. Ever Brave two links away third on the rail followed by Lucky Thought who races fourth. Next is General Line at the 400 metres, followed in turn by Irish Vega, Gentle Breeze, and Star Superior at the head of the rest. A race here between Look, Eris, and Gunner. They're a length and a half clear on Ever Brave. Lucky Thought coming home with a good run as General Line out deeper on the track. Look, Eris kicking hard here. Gunner, Lucky Thought, General Line swamping them out wider. General Line here for Martin Harley over the top, and he wins from Look, Eris, and Lucky Thought, Ever Brave. Gunner next to run through. Captain Boss, Yi Chong, Lucky Star Superior. Then came Gentle Breeze, Fortune Patrol. They were followed in turn by Irish Fager and My Dear back at the end of the field, clearly. Big run out wide from General Iron. The old boy, the nine year old for David Ferraris, son of Tao K, out of the plaything. Helps himself to his fourth win at start number. 57 he went off at 29s and 4.9 so big old quote here start arrives the field 1200 meters third ranks here at the valley kowloon bay handicap field are go and one of the first out was noble delight over most beautiful fantastic fabio he's been roused forward but i don't think he's going to lead here fantastic fabio it's just a little bit deep on the track at this point as noble delight leads waldorf fourth over on the inside confucius day from nordic warrior one off then came fearless fire followed by shanghai master he's deep on the track 
and Starlet Knight back at the end of the field. About five and a half would cover them from first to last as they run past the 700 metres. Noble Delight, all favours in front here for Marrera. Three quarters on Fantastic Fabio. First section 24, 07, so that was a little bit slow. Running third is most beautiful from Waldorf. He's now being called upon. He's not really making any ground at this point, Waldorf. Confucius Day, Shanghai Master, Nordic Warrior, Fearless Fire, Starlet Knight, Noble Delight with a good break here for Marrera. Leading just on three quarters now from Most Beautiful there to challenge. Now Waldorf, he's starting to power down the crown of the racetrack with 100 metres left to go. Waldorf, Most Beautiful, Noble Delight, Confucius Day, Nordic Warrior. Down to the line they go and Waldorf. Waldorf is one over most beautiful second. It's a photo third. We've got Confucius Day, Nordic Warrior, Fearless Fire and Noble Delight down on the inside. Starlet Knight, and they beat off Fantastic Fabio and Shanghai Master, who was wide. He finished back at the end of the field. Waldorf winning this nicely over most beautiful. Now, who does third prize go to? Confucius Day or Nordic Warrior? Confucius Day Half head in front of Nordic Warrior, Noble Delight, Fearless Fire, Starlet Knight, Fantastic Fabio, Shanghai Master. That's the way they've gone to the line there. Attendant clears the front and we are ready to go. Naboo Star, the race favourite. Starter pushes the button, they're racing, away they go. Fairly level line away from the 1650 start. Curling Luxury, Polymer Luck, Naboo Star. Good runners way there. Four up on the pace as they charge past the winning post on their first occasion. Mr. Darth Vega one off around Yichong Pegasus. And then came Mr. Monty Association fan slotting down on the rail midfield. In front of Love Chungwa, the full bloom. Now hard ridden Mr. Monty can't get in. He's three deep passing the 1200 metres. Nitro Express and Shining On are the last pair, 27.53, so we're going pretty quick as they run up into the back section of the track, a thousand metres left to go. Curling Luxury, three quarters on Good Runner's Way, who's done plenty of work to get up on the outside and sit in the chair. Naboo Star third, Camp one off the fence around Polymer Luck, and then came Yichong Pegasus, who copped a bit of a squeeze about a hundred metres ago, but he's next on the rail from Mr. Darth Vega. A length away association fans with his head on his chest, the full Bloom. Mr. Monty's been wide throughout around Nitro Express, Love Chungwa, and shining on two links away last. Off the back, 5.50 left to go. In front, curling luxury. A neck in advance on Good Runners Waves. There to challenge once again. Followed by Polymere Luck, Naboo Star. Favourites uh, drifting back through the field here. Tickets are confetti on him. Must be an issue. He's going to finish well back in the field as Polymere Luck and Mr. Darth Vega have moved up and pounced. The full bloom going at cheeky race and Nitro Express looking to rally from the rear. Association fans up the rail. Mr. Darth Vega, the full bloom about to put him to the sword. Nitro Express jumping in. The full bloom got up to win. The full bloom has won over Mr. Darth Vega and over on the outside Nitro Express. Not sure fourth love Chungwa Association fans. Deeper shining on curling luxury polymer luck. Look, love Chungwa if I haven't mentioned his name was next to go by from Good Runner's Way. And uh, then came Yi Chong Pegasus, Mr. Monty. And the Boo Star has finished about a furlong last. He's already back in the enclosure. The full bloom, Grant Van Neerkirk gets a winning double. Dennis, yep, with the horse that's best known for Class 5 at Sha over 1,400 metres. He's never run a drum here. Ready for action, race five, they're off, away, and Blitzing was first into stride with Forza Angel, who's moving up to challenge there on the outside. Ballistic King wants a piece of the party as well. He's third as they charge to the first turn, and Boyd Boyd to make a line of four up front. Just behind the speed then came Harrier Jet, and there's plenty of it. Two links to Wine Boy, endearing cheers Vanquisher, and he mastered the last of them as they run past the 800 metres and they climb the rise, 23.68. That's inside standard, 23.7. And up front now is Forza Angel. Blitzing happy to let him go by, but he sits second over on the outside of Ballistic King. Boyant Boy tugging for a little bit more rain over on the inside. 
followed around as they come down the side by Harriet Jet. Then came Endearing Iron Boys under pressure. E Master and Cheers Vanquisher, the last of them at the 300 metres. Forza Angel leads a neck, but Blitzing's there to capitalise. As to as Harriet Jet and Buoyant Boy got squeezed out of a gap. He got castled. Endearing chiming in, and E Master out wider. Harriet Jet, Endearing E Master. Endearing goes to Harriet Jet, and Endearing has one from Harriet Jet and E Master. Fourth, I think, blitzing, buoyant boy. He got cleaned up in the straight when going for a gap. Then came Ballistic King. Cheers, Vanquisher, Forza Angel, and Iron Boy back at the tail. Endearing and Chance Schofield for John Moore. And he's got the job done and done nicely. Had a whole stack of gear changes as well. The uh, pacifiers with the cows were coming off. Cheek pieces, hood, they were both being reapplied. He had the tongue tie as well. And he's done it here, the six-year-old by Lonro. His third win at start, 32. Ready? Racing. Away they go to a pretty good line. Gold Velvet settles back. And Oriel in into the leap back in the last couple as well. Bullish Brother Royal Chocolate, very sweet orange, the three up on the pace, and Hasta Luego barreling around the outside. Followed by, on the inside, Sunny Dragon, who came next, Compassion Star, just behind the speed. That means Hasta Luego caught deep, the big boy. Then came Storm Soldier on the inside. This is class caught a little bit deep from Oriental Elite, who has three competitors behind him. There, Wonder Express, Gold Velvet, and Flying Noble as they run to the end of the back stretch towards the 600 metres. Leader is Bullish Brother by a length on on very sweet orange right on their hammer third is sunny dragon royal chocolate being called upon as they come towards the home turn at the 400 meters next is storm soldier hasta luego compassion star and oriental elite an awkward position back on the inside he's got about six to find here on bullish brother leading a length on uh, sunny dragon then came very sweet orange royal chocolate this is class then came behind those runners oriental elite sunny dragon moves up eyeballs bullish brother this is class coming at the pair of them out wider but sunny dragon wins over this is class and bullish brother third photos fourth gold velvet i catch it from him he was close up with royal chocolate uh, very sweet orange not far away oriental elite just a little bit far back and caught in a bit of traffic coming to the turn wonder express behind them flying noble uh, then came compassion star and storm soldier one of the last ones on crossing Sunny Dragon, Matthew Chadwick. This is Class, Bullish Brother, Royal Chocolate, Gold Velvet, Very Sweet Orange, Oriental Elite. Back on the inside. Out of the money here, the 2.4 favourite. And will be set for the Kings Park Handicap. Class 2, they're off away. And party together. He missed the party. He was slow from the start. He missed it by about two in the end. And setting, settling back was Riven now. We're Mr. So-and-so, Divine Unicorn, Kaying Star, Turin Red Star, Circuit Glory. So there was five. Now there's four charging into the first turn. Winning Faith over on the inside of Rivet as they uh, settle down up front. Divine Unicorn with Circuit Glory. They're going to be the top two. Now behind midfield here is Shifano racing on his own past the 1200. 26.97. So low flying in front. There's four links back to Packing Dragon, Giant Turtle. Then came Riven and Party together a length away last. Stretched out as they run into the back straight. They've got under a thousand metres left to go. Circuit Glory leading a length now on Divine Unicorn second. Turin Red Star, Mr. So-and-so three wide on that pair passing the 800 metres. Kaying Star next on the inside of Rivet. Then came on the inside winning Faith who's over racing. Lost a bit of ground there. Shifano covers him up. Then came Packing Dragon followed by Riven who's back third last on the outside of Giant Turtle and last of all is Party Together. There's been no loitering. Circuit Glory coming down the side. Three quarters over Mr. So-and-so. Turin Red Star back behind those runners then came Rivet followed by Packing Dragon. Kaying Ying Star, Shifano and down the outside is Riven as they come towards the final 200 metres in front. Turin Red Star, Rivet descending on the scene and Riven out wider. Kaying Ying Star Star dashing up the rail, Turin Red Star, Riven and Rivet coming at him. It's a finish of Riven and Rivet, but uh, in front, very close. Not sure. Turin Red Star 
Rivet and Riven. Worst scenario there for a race caller. Kaying Star close up. Shifano and behind those runners came uh, Giant Turtle followed by Party Together. Then came uh, Winning Faith, Mr. So and So, Packing Dragon, and uh, back towards the tail circuit. Glory couldn't continue that blaze of glory in front and Divine Unicorn. He settled back at the rear after losing ground on the turn. Righto. We've got uh, Turin Red Star, Riven. And we're ready to roll for race number eight. Off. Wayne Racing and Zanjang Rocks was slow from the start. So too was Superhero. They settled back with Rickfield, the last trio. King Shield, one of the first out with Marzuk there to challenge on the outside. Last Kingdom up on the rail as let's take it easy. And Sank on Sank just behind the top four. But he is caught deep and he can't get in at the stage, Chadwick. He's around warm, the voice one off. Philip Fion, three back the fence. A length and a half away, amazing Sachmo, followed by Rickfield, who's throwing the hit about passing the 1,200 metres. Zanjang rocks back second last and last of all is Superhero late scratching Roman and Piro 28.30 so a little bit more leisurely than the previous race for the first 450 metres as they make their way into the back section of the track 900 metres left to go King Shield in front of a Marzuk margin half a length and Sank on Sank he's doing it plenty tough out wide there for Chadwick and he's surging on to the lead followed behind those runners by Let's Take It Easy covered up by Last Kingdom two lengths Villa Fion warm the voice one and a half Rickfield amazing Sachmo one and a half Sanjang rocks and can see them all as superhero last down the side towards the 450 meters in front King Shield with Sank on Sank Marzuk now peels off their back to come and have a crack at them followed by let's take it easy Rickfield up on the inside as Villa Fion last kingdom out deeper warm the voice Sanjang rocks amazing Sachmo Sank on Sank dash to the front under the 200 pig Rickfield gives chase, followed by King Shield. Last Kingdom. Rickfield now moves up to Sank on Sank, who's hanging tough. But Rickfield goes on by to win the last on Sank on Sank. Brave effort because he was wide throughout. Third, I think, King Shield on the inside from Last Kingdom or Zanjang Rocks. Villa Fion beat home. Let's take it easy. Marzuk, amazing Sachmo, superhero. Warm the voice last. Late scratching Roman and Piro. Rickfield for Umberto Rispoli gets the win in the last for Tony Millard with 30 for the season for uh, ATM and uh, Umberto gets his 21st win of the season. Big run sank on sank because he was caught wide, couldn't get in. King Shield has lasted for third placing in the Homanton handicap and this uh, seven-year-old French bred gelding.